I'm Chip Rohn with your Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you are watching In the Know. Today we are at West Overton Village, and joining me is Stephen Elcock and Alexandria Hollis. Hello, folks. Hi. Hello. <laughs> yeah, good to, good to be here in the sunshine. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful day. Now, Alexandria and Stephen are with a group that's called Scottdale Pride Community, and Stephen is the president of that organization, and Alexandria is the vice president of that organization. And they have an event that's going to be held here uh, in June, and we're going to let Stephen share the news. I won't take all the thunder oh, away. Oh, that's now. okay. That's yeah. okay, Chip. No, the thing is, is that it's going to be June 25th from 1 to 5 p.m. here at West Overton. And, and it's Scottdale Pride. Scottdale Pride, of course. This yeah. is our third year, right? Mm -hmm. And this will be our first time here at West Overton. Okay. We used to be at Bad Rabbit in Scottdale, Bad Rabbit Cafe. They were really helpful to us. Helped you get started. Helped us get started. And now we just need more space. Right. Let's check this. you got lots of space here. Oh, we, absolutely. We took a peek earlier. So yeah. let's check this space out. So, All right. Okay? Sounds good. Yeah. So when you had it at Bad Rabbit, uh, you were expecting like 30 people, I think, right? Yeah. And how many showed up? Oh, 300. Yeah. <laughs> first time was 300. Second year was over 300. And now we're like, we need more space. So the first year was 21. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, like, of course, last year was a second year. So, yep. So this is great that, that West Overton made this space available to you. So this is actually in the big barn. Yeah. Typically, there are weddings in here. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And now we get to have this wonderful space, this very historic space, which I love. The yeah. fact that we're able to have pride somewhere that is a huge staple of Scottsdale. I right. think that's really an honorable thing to be part of. Yeah. I think it's beautiful in here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I guess it's, space. what's that? It's a gorgeous space. It is a gorgeous space. So 200 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, yeah, it's great to have pride here. I think that's a great idea. So some of the things that are gonna be happening that day, activities on, uh, on your, for your pride event. Yeah, so one of our board members, their um, family's members band is going to be here. So we'll have them, um, we'll have a DJ just kind of providing some entertainment, some opportunity to do some dancing or just kind of hang out. Um, we're also going to be hosting some vendors, um, so some crafting, um, some other type of handmade goods, things like that. Um, and we are still looking for vendors, so if anybody's interested, you can definitely reach out to us. And you have a Facebook page. Um, yes. Yeah, that's under Scott Del Pride Community. Mm -hmm. And so that's you can communicate through you through messaging on there. Yeah, that's probably the best way to get a hold of us, at least for right now. Yeah. Um, just shoot us a message. Um, hopefully having lots of activities, um, both for adults. Um, West Overton will have their distillery open. Um, and hopefully some activities for kids. We're putting that together. Um, what else? Lots of stuff. Yeah, so we'll hopefully have some drag performances mm -hmm. as well, okay. and we're going to be serving free food, right? We always do this. This is the first, not the first time, but the first year we were on the first in the state to offer free food, a free meal for Pennsylvania residents at Pride. And so you get free pizza, free drinks, and free snacks. But there will also be vendors selling food, too. Right. And some of those vendors you want to talk about? So them? we have Bubble Waffles, which will be selling waffles like they're with ice cream. It's really cool. Hot dogs and pretzels. Um, we also are going to have um, Bad Rabbits most likely going to come by, and they're going to be selling coffee, and we're going to have just little snacks like that. Nothing like a big meal or any, like, catered or anything, right. but just little places to stop to get something to eat. You know? Excellent. That sounds, food is always a good thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, some of your booths, will be services here too, or uh, what were some of the vendors that, that will be here? Um, I'm fairly certain that the Westmoreland Food Bank will be here um, giving out information, um, providing assistance if people need help, getting in touch with them, getting some support. Um, we will have some people doing tarot card readings, palm mm -hmm. readings, things like that. Yep. What and else? then we're also going to have the women voters, the mm -hmm. League of Women Voters, to come down okay. to help people recruit for voting and whatnot, help get like the political side in there. Yeah, and that's important. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So who's invited to attend? Everybody. Everybody. Everyone. Yeah. It's everyone open to everyone. You don't everyone. have to be from the LGBTQIA plus community. No. Nope. Yeah. Allies, anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Just friends. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. made this so that way everyone can come out. Right. And it started for a place so that people in the LGBTQIA plus community could be out together, all ages. All genders would be welcome in a place that's rural, yeah. a place that never had it before. And along with that, so many other allies who support their families and friends, everyone's welcome to come out. Now you mentioned when we were talking earlier that you have a lot of people come from Pittsburgh just because they 
have an opportunity to come out. Exactly. Into yeah, that's, a little rural area. Exactly. And that they were from here or from around here, like Mount Pleasant or Collinsville, and then they leave, and then they go, wow, like they're actually having this. Yeah. I wish it would have happened sooner. But it always takes one person or a couple people to make something happen, yeah. right? So that's what we always thought was like, let's not just keep talking about it. Let's actually make it happen. Well, know? I commend you. Yeah. So Thank you. So you and others that started this, great job. And what, what a great thing to do for the community and the whole area, not just Scottdale, but the, the, whole, the whole area here. Yeah, thanks. You want to talk about your committee that, that you're working with? I know it's not just you two. No, no. <laughs> I can never do this just us two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm the president, and so Alexander is VP. But we also have Heather Schaefer, who is our treasurer. And we also have Mackenzie Eicher, who's our secretary, both of which one lives in Philly and the other one's in Costa Rica right now. They will be coming back. Wow. We also have Jordan, who's working with communication and marketing. Okay. And then Emily Seaman is helping us as like an advisory. From okay. When she owns Scratch Living, we recruit her to come back to work on our board. Yeah. So. Now, how often do you folks meet? We usually meet twice a month. Yeah. yeah. Twice a month through Zoom. And Pride is, is your, your main event? Yes. That's okay. our main bread and butter is Pride. Okay. Do, you, do you see yourselves doing anything else other than a Pride event? Yeah, I think hopefully uh, this year we're going to look into expanding and having more opportunities for us to gather and be together. Um, so hopefully throughout the year we'll have more events like maybe a dance, um, maybe a pool party, just kind of other opportunities to come together as a community. Yeah, and I hear you have t-shirts that are available. Yes. Everyone loves, you, by the way, you guys have great shirts. I felt really underdressed, <laughs> but you got my Fisher Armstrong shirt on. But See, we're matching the theme. That's I, I, I tell you, you guys did well. You got the memo. <laughs> but yeah, you can find t-shirts. Um, they are pre-sale. You can find them on our Facebook page or the event page. Either one, there's a link there. It's through Bonfire. Um, so they have our Pride logo for this year. Um, it has a fun retro feature. I really like the t-shirts. Hopefully everybody else does too. Um, but yeah, if you can get on them, you can order them now and then they should be here before the Pride event so that you can have them to wear and we can all be together. That's fun. So the West Overton Village is located at 109 West Overton Road in Scottdale. If you're not from the area and not sure, it's kind of between Scottdale and Mount Pleasant mm -hmm. is the best way to kind of describe that. Uh, but we're going to have more information on the screen, and, and you can find us here on June 25th. And that's a Sunday. Yes. Yeah. And you said 1 to 5. 1 to 5. Yeah. Uh, now, inside, what's going to happen inside? What's going to happen outside? I guess the vendors would be outside. Is that Yeah, I think it might be a mixture of both. We might have some vendors inside, outside. We're planning on having games and activities down in the lawn behind the barn. Um, just kind of utilizing this big, beautiful space as best we can to make it open, inviting, and fun. Yeah, well, it's nice of West Overton to open this space up to yes, you. And absolutely. there is a lot of room here, too. Yeah, we really appreciate their support and helping us expand and, and being here for us this year, for sure. I hope the weather's great. We'll be praying for that. But I also <laughs> know that if it's not, there's enough space here. You can still be inside and oh, still absolutely. have a great time. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you want to share? Uh, just, just, you know, like I said, come on out, right? We got stickers, we got flags, we got free swag, obviously, we like to give out. Mm -hmm. And just sort of the idea of why we're here is to promote and, and support the LGBTQI plus community, especially right now in our country. So if you're around here and you have family members, you have friends, you yourself, come on out and support above right. anything else. Yeah. So that's one of the things that brought me to this, because I'm by. I'm in the community, and I want to have a place where all of us could be. And right. so I'm so glad that Alexandria is part of this and that all of us are together doing this for the community, for Scottsdale, Mount Pleasant, everyone around here. Yeah, I agree. It is great. Sponsors. Do you have sponsors for the event? Do, do, do people help you financially? Um, I don't think as of right now mm -hmm. we have any, but, but we're definitely could. open to the idea. Yeah, so sure. again, go to their Facebook page, mm -hmm. shoot them a message, and you'd be glad to have some folks help you with yeah, some. Oh, 100 you, you have support. Yeah, there, there, and it's no cost that day. I mean, there's no nope, cost, no. no admission cost or right. no parking charge or anything like that. So, yeah. so just whatever you would buy food-wise. But you're giving pizza and water mm -hmm. away, yep. so that's a good thing. And, and some other swag, too. Well, mm -hmm. Stephen and Alexandria, I appreciate your work with this, appreciate the work of the committee. I yeah. hope everything goes well. Uh, if you don't mind, just give the date and times again and location, just in case you're just joining us. Sure. So June 25th, 1 to 5 p.m. It's a Sunday, and that's our time. At West Overton Village. At West Overton Village. Thank you. Wish you well with this. Thank, Thank you, Chip. Yeah. And now, you're in the know.